1976 to 2018 were the active years for The Fall, who were a band from Manchester. They were fronted by Mark E. Smith and critically acclaimed. They had many lineup changes with Mark being the constant, and they created 31 studio albums during this time. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was the second album by The Fall, and I think it's the first time I've heard it and listened to it. Uh, so the band are described generally as being post-punk, and I hesitantly would uh, disagree for this album and would say that it was punk, but I'm not necessarily sure that I precisely know the difference between the two things. Um, it certainly sounds very raw. Um, there are... Generally, two guitars, bass, drums, and the singer, who was Mark E. Smith. Um, and uh, the bass and the guitars tend to use quite crunchy sounds. Um, it's very simple musically. Uh, sometimes it's out of tune. Sometimes it's out of time. It's pretty much universally badly recorded, or it sounds like it is. Apparently, it was deliberate. Um, the, the singer, uh, Mark E. Smith, is not so much singing most of the time as either kind of talking or shouting or sometimes kind of blasting out all on one note. But there's words in one of the songs that uh, talk about it being one note, but also saying that he's shouting. Um, uh, I would say, though, out of all the aspects of this album, the thing that I enjoyed uh, was the words, um, because some of them are bizarre, and mostly they're kind of based on some kind of bizarre fantasy stories and all sorts of weird ideas. Um, so I'm going to re uh, read a bit of one section of lyrics from um, uh, Your Heart Out, which is probably my favourite part of the lyrics. Um, and um, so here we go. Uh, don't cry for me, Mexico, which is a reference to don't cry, cry for me, Argentina, uh, or Savage Pencil, no clue. I'm nearly healthy. And they try to take my eyes out. Friends try to work my soul out. But I don't sing. I just shout. Heavy clout. Heart out. Now here's a joke to cheer you up. Old times, no surgeon, just magicians and dungeons. There, they take your heart out with a sharp knife. It wasn't fake. They had no anaesthetic. That joke's pathetic. And the last line is almost inaudible, but it just made me laugh. Um, my favourite song title is Spectre vs. Rector. Um, and Rector in this situation, if you don't know, is um, uh, a minor clergyman in uh, the Church of England. Um, uh, also, that track has some of the worst recording on it. And it sounds a bit like it was recorded very badly and then overdubbed with clearer vocals so that some of it could be heard better. So... Uh, apparently this was so badly recorded that the studio it was recorded at insisted that their name be taken off the album cover. Um, in general, I found the album not hugely listenable because of the quality uh, of what's going on. Just mildly interesting because of the lyrics. Otherwise, it's pretty poor, I would say. So um, I think if it, if it had been tighter, if it had been... Um, just put together a bit better, or if even if um, it had had a, a better energy to it than it has to kind of compensate for the rawness, um, then this could have been better. But the really the only thing that recommends it to me is the lyrics. That's what I think. I know a lot of people think that the fall are a classic, so if you want to tell me why I'm wrong or you know what are the qualities that you hear in this that I'm not hearing please do uh, I'd love to hear from you please talk to me through the comments box that's it from me for now Have a drink.